Reporting for TTN HD Production Live here at Technicolor Studios in downtown Toronto with Jeffrey Nesker. Jeffrey, what inspired you to get into the business? Uh, against my parents' better wishes, I watched Jaws and Poltergeist when I was five years old, and uh, <laughs> I, I'm afraid of the deep end of swimming pools and bathtubs on occasion. And I threw out every clown doll in my house and slept under the covers pretty well until puberty. So I think I, I knew from a very early age what I wanted to do. <laughs> Has it been what you expected it to be? As scary as you expected it to be? I think it's been way scarier, actually. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a wild ride, yeah, yeah. What's been the most rewarding part so far? Uh, the little cookies of, uh, of professional vindication, you know. Uh, getting into this film festival or getting this grant or realizing this project or that project, I think it's, you know, you take it where you can get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are the projects that you're most proud of that you've worked on? Uh, I think I'm proud of all of my shorts equally. Uh, I think that they're all uh, extensions of what I've been trying to do. Uh, and certainly just realizing I'm getting the chance to make a little miracle. You know, every film's a little miracle. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about The Undrawn. Uh, the Undrawn is a web series that I'm directing, and it's written by the Butler brothers, who are sort of heroes of the Toronto independent community. Uh, it's easily the dirtiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, I just showed it to my parents, and that was that was an interesting experience. Uh, yeah, it, it it it's been a challenge. I like to challenge myself, and this has certainly been a big one, <laughs> a pretty profound challenge. What did your parents think of it? Well, you know, they couched everything and, and we loved it, but I was looking for visual cues in their facial expressions and stuff like that. And I think uh, it was probably a bit blue for them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are your goals for the future? Uh, you know, same as everybody, to keep working, uh, realize, you know, uh, your dreams of telling stories and whatnot and uh, making films, just being able to continue to make films, you know? I think it's uh, impossible to be the best filmmaker ever uh, and unquantifiable, but I certainly want to be a filmmaker and be able to make movies. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone following in your footsteps? I've heard a lot of good answers today, and I think I would say uh, try to enjoy the journey. Um, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about the red carpet premieres and the, you know, the Hollywood parties, you're not really in the moment, and you have to stay in the moment because it's a tough, tough business. Where's the best place to find out more information on you and to check out your work online? Okay, this is a tongue twister. My personal website, www.ocularnutrition.ca, ocular nutrition, I'm not going to spell it out, and uh, <laughs> probably Google me, uh, Jeffrey P. Nesker. Great. Well, thank you so much, Jeffrey, and okay. congratulations on all of your successes so far, and best of luck with your upcoming projects. Cheers. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Technicolor Studios in downtown Toronto.